Yes, sir. Senior on the big KLR, first year of a revised riding. Even left-handed. <laughs> Top of the morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is one of my favorite, all-time favorite motorcycles. Being the owner of the New England Motorcycle Museum and the owner of Kaplan Cycles and a long time, lifelong motorcycle buff, I've had the luxury and the, and the um, pleasure of riding just about every bike made. Uh, in our stable of bikes we can ride here, I've got a BMW F800 Enduro. I've got a 1190 KTM. I've got a brand new XR650 2018 and I have my two favorites are my KLR650 and my XR650. When I say my favorites, I have motocross bikes, enduro bikes, Harleys, uh, different tool for every job, but for the around town, somewhat sometime off-road, maybe take it down the sand pits, uh, go to the motocross track and ride around, take it to the beach. This is the bike right here. Uh, they stopped making these, I think in 2018, they had a long run, about a 20 year run. One of the most durable engines Kawasaki ever made. It's a liquid-cooled, counterbalanced 650 chain drive, long travel suspension. This is the newer rendition. The one that I have, my personal 650, I call it, affectionately nicknamed it Big Black. It's an all-black KLR 650 2004. Uh, has a smaller gas tank, not quite as much range, a little smaller fairing, a little, little less body protection. Doesn't the hand guards aren't quite as big, but other than that, it's pretty much identical. The engine and running gear, and I fell in love with that bike just recently in the last year and a half. Uh, up to that, prior to that, I had always chosen something a little more uh, aggressive for off road riding. I do a lot of two up riding with Christy, and she absolutely loves our KLR. It's her second favorite bike to ride on, besides my Harley Davidson Dyna CVO with the big King Queen seat on. It's got a huge Kind of funny looking, but it's a big comfy saddle. Heck, I'm 55, and uh, I want to be comfortable when I ride. And these KLRs, they deliver. The seat's long, wide, and flat. The, the riding position's very upright. The bars are, are nice and comfortable. There's no stress on your wrists or back. Um, you can unload the weight from your spine easily because the pegs are right underneath you. It's not like driving a, a soft tail with your legs out front. You can easily stand up over the bumps. This one has been super tuned by the Wizard. Um, you know... You've heard the, heard the uh, story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. <laughs> uh, this this is kind of like uh, Goldilocks and the four exhaust systems. We actually tried four exhaust systems before we got this one perfect. And I ended up going with the same one I had on Big Black, which we should have done all along. But the stock exhaust system on, on this is too quiet, and they're really corked up. They have a very restrictive uh, air filter, muffler, and um, jetting setting. So the first exhaust system we had on it was a uh, little bit too loud after we re replaced the stock one so the second one and I forget the manufacturer of the first one do you remember what it was what was it a um, big gun I think it was a two brothers racing oh you're right it was a two brothers racing exhaust and it was hellaciously loud hellaciously like hey if it's too loud you're too old I don't know but even junior didn't like it it was really freaking loud the, the big gun exhaust it, it had like no baffling and it. it made the bike backfire and stuff so i told shane i said i don't like that order me an fmf power core so he orders the exhaust and it comes in an fmf power core q and i knew the q stood for quiet and i was like that's the wrong pipe he goes no it's the same i said no it's the wrong pipe he put it on the wizard put it on and it was too quiet it was a little bit a little bit it flowed a little better in stock so i was like okay Maybe the fourth time's a charm. So we ordered and got the correct FMF Power Core 4, the same one I have on Big Black. I love this exhaust. It definitely gives it a few more horsepower. Um, once we got the muffler right, we took the header pipe off and replaced the, the exhaust gaskets on the, on the cylinder also because uh, 
Well, um, after taking the exhaust off three or four times, I feel it should be done. So we had new exhaust gaskets installed. The jetting on the bike, the wizard put the same jetting we had on my bike and it still wasn't quite right. He fiddled with it for about a half a day, ended up taking the carb out, re redid the jetting twice to get it to run as good as it does. And it runs perfectly off a of pump gas now. So it's got the um, FMF power up uh, jetting kit in it. It has a twin air filter and an FMF power core for exhaust system along with some other tasty upgrades. It also has a set of Dunlop DOT approved uh, on and off-road tires with more, I would say these are 60% off-road, 40% on-road, very aggressive look. Uh, they work great on the street and, they, and uh, even better off-road. Dunlop's a good quality tire. If, if you come around this side, you'll see it has a brand new gold chain. Now, they, they stopped making these bikes, right, uh, in 2018. Uh, at that point, it was about $7,400 out the door for a new one. This one, with all the upgrades and accessories on it, this is uh, approaching a $9,000 bike, and this is brand new, 2,279 miles. It's got no miles on it. And it's, it hasn't been abused or ridden hard uh, at all or, or ridden off-road. You can tell by the frame rails, which are pristine. The rims are pristine. There's no, there's no scratches on the fork lowers. Just a beautiful bike. Absolutely love the paint combo. It's a sterling metallic silver. Come around the side here and show them the, uh, um, the, the metal flake in the sunlight. It has a super nice metal flake with a bright blue front fender with the red KLR650 logo. Just a beautiful combo and again, Super comfy for two up riding, and you've even got a little bit of um, a storage on the back here. This is probably one of the most popular motorcycles Kawasaki ever made uh, here in the U.S. and overseas for, for a, certainly for dual sport riding. And there's a huge aftermarket for this. You can get military style saddlebags, you can get soft bags, you can get hard bags. There's a, you can get all kinds of racks. There's almost unlimited the amount of of uh, accessories and upgrades you can do to this bike. This is, the, again, the, this is the same exact bike. To my knowledge, they didn't change a damn thing between the production date on this and the last one they made in 2018. They're virtually identical. Um, this has been upgraded with a nice set of grips on it uh, with bar ends and the grips are even safety wired on. You might ask, why are you safety wiring the grips on? Long story, but when I was uh, 15 years old, I broke my leg in half because a grip came off going over a jump, snapped my leg in half. So um, I, I'm over cautious. We glue the grips on with Renthal grip glue and then we safety wire them. And that seems to keep them from uh, ever having any, any issue of, of coming off. So just a fantastic bike. Uh, Kenny took a, you know, Kenny listens to what I say. And uh, I, I think he, uh, except for talking about, except for talking about which, which lines to take at the motocross track. But uh, he, he listens to what I say for the most part. Uh, about from my experiences and then I think he tries it out and makes it makes it his own decision now this bike has 200 2279 miles on it I think it had like 1980 when we got it we put a, a, a almost 300 miles on it this summer um, just putting around here and, and uh, junior took it out with Shaylin on the backs so I told him how great it was for two up riding and he took it to the beach what juniors 21 years old give me some feedback what are your thoughts uh, from the younger generation hey, you want to grab the camera and shoot me yeah. for a second yeah yeah, so guys, um, I, I was waiting for a good KLR to come around because seniors really, uh, make sure the camera's pointing at me. Yeah, look at this. Senior the cameraman now. The, the, the tables have turned. So guys, we brought this one in and, and uh, Wizard was in the process of tuning it and we were uh, changing the pipes out and testing it and I took a liking to it and I rode the wheels off of it this summer. Rode the wheels off of it. There was a couple days where I was riding it all the time and to the corner store and stuff and, and uh, there's a reason why Senior keeps this exact bike as his daily rider. Um, we'd be keeping it, and we had the conversation. Senior's like, you know, we can keep it if you want, but um, I know the deal, and m money's a little bit tight, and we have a lot of overhead here, and it, you know, 2020 has, uh, hasn't been the greatest year, guys, for a lot of people. So, um, you know, we're going to offer this one up for sale, and, and uh, I'll sign off on this one, guys. The thing is, is on How point. How does Shailen like it? Shailen loves this thing, and uh, actually... She's in the showroom right now, but but uh, for riding two up, to have a big 650 to go up hills and and uh, even in the grass around here and, and just to chug it along, it's it's fun to ride. And, and uh, for me, with a background in motocross, having a single cylinder uh, bike in this configuration with the upright riding style, it's a motocross bike, just loaded and geared for the street. The um, if you're looking for a bike. 
one bike if you can have one motorcycle and no others which god i hope that's not the case but if it is absolutely recommend the kawasaki klr 650 or the honda xr 650 yes there's ktms that are more higher tech and twice the money and there's bmw f800s but if you want a bike that's bulletproof miles per smiles bang for the buck the most fun thing on two wheels you can't beat these big bore four stroke 650s they have tons of power with just a minor stage one upgrade like i've done to both of these on the intake and exhaust and getting it tuned right and jetted and they're they're fun they hold their value and parts are plentiful and you'll be able to get parts for these forever uh, because they made so many of them but finding one that's pristine that's been you know, let's face it, most shops aren't going to put four exhaust pipes on until they get it just right. Most shops aren't going to, most home users, that would have cost you, the home user, to try three different exhausts. You would have dropped $1,000 plus a couple weekends of your time uh, just in configuring the exhaust the, the, to the perfect setup. And uh, to have it jetted twice by a professional shop or do it yourself would be a pain in the ass to tune it just the way. This one's done. It's got the gold chain. It's got the Dunlop tires. It's got the bag on the back. It's got the safety wired grips. All the fluids on the bike, it's just had a major service. All the fluids, the engine oil, the radiator uh, coolant, the the um, brake fluid, everything's flushed. It needs nothing, folks. Get on this thing, ride it to the Baja Peninsula and back. My age group, you know, in the 40, 50 years old, that ride two up with their wives off-road. I have one friend in particular who does a lot of off-roading with his wife on the back. Uh, there's my my personal one, I upgraded the suspension, the progressive suspension front and rear, and it's it's incredible. Kenny jumped it off the loading dock. You know, that's why I, it's locked up and chained up. I don't let them ride it, you know. So um, this is a beautiful piece. The fairing does give you more body protection than the one on my bike. My bike looks more more like a strictly off-road bike. Um, you're probably going to get, you won't get harassed by the police on this. You got your mirrors, you got your turn signals, and you're just not going to find a, a nicer, cleaner uh, KLR with a better color combo, in my opinion. So this one's definitely Captain America approved. Any of my friends out there want to buy this, buy this and right off into the sunset it doesn't get any better than this it's miles per mile so um let's do a drive-by i want to have them hear it going by in fourth or fifth gear so uh thanks for watching good luck bidding on this and as always god bless america is that a new rig you got there yeah nice bike show them the sticker that, that that's put on there it's, it says loud pipes save lives listen I'm all about the environment and all about the EPA but you know what I don't want to die and every time I'm coming through an intersection I always rev up the motor on my bike and I won't ride a street bike unless it's got a set of pipes like this on it I want people to know I'm coming because half the time they're texting or they're not paying attention or you're in their blind spot or whatever BS answers they give when they pull out in front of you um, it happens so when you come through an intersection let them, let, let them know you're coming. Might save your life. So th this is where the KLR really shines. This is a, Kenny and I are both big dudes, six foot two. Um, the XR seat would be too small for us to ride comfortably. He's not touching me, there's still plenty of room left. And uh, listen to the motor. It, it won't even, this motor does not show any indication of stress. Whether you're going up a hill with 500 pounds on it or ripping down the highway this will go highway all day long 80 85 miles an hour there's a plentiful options for gearing if you want to change the gearing for mostly road work or mostly off-road you can change one tooth or up or down on the, on the front rocket so but listen to this motor this thing's just I almost forgot to mention that these are phenomenal bikes that ride in wheelies. If you like riding wheelies, 
tons of compression braking, so you don't need to cover the rear brake. On my XR650, I can ride wheelies all the way up the street, and on my KLR, same thing too. I'm not going to do that on this one, uh, frankly, because it's not my bike. It's going to be sold, so um, and it doesn't really beat on it, but I don't want to make the, the wrong impression. And also, I still have a court date pending for my last street shenanigans, so I don't like to wheelie on the road uh, and disrespect the police at all. So we'll obey the laws here, but off-road on private property or out in the boondocks, you can ride wheelies for days on these. The motors have tons of power. So by with assurance, this is a pristine Kawasaki KLR650 tuned to perfection, ready to ride cross country. Good luck bidding on it. God bless.